Good morning, this is the third and final part of the skeleton hand goblet. I started sculpting this over five months ago for my brother's 30th. I was inspired by the guys over at Nerdforge who turned wine glasses into medieval goblets. Martina and Hansi are incredibly skilled and create the coolest of things. I'm starting with the wrist and forearm. I used the kids science book to help wrap my head around some of the basic shapes. Mixed in some white and beige to create a bone colour. Bake and bond on the stem of the glass. Wrap that with clay. Blend and smooth. Holding a ball helped me to see how my wrist and fingers react in this position. I found a great picture on Google Images that had all the different bones. I worked on a few of the lower wrist bones, then added in the second forearm bone. Added some grooves, baby oil to smooth, sizing and shaping up some carpal bones, blend them in. For the hand bones, roll out a length thicker on either end, detail, ball tool in one end, lay into position. More details. Creating the leather wraps, I have a separate video on how to make polymer clay look like leather if you want to check that out. Thinner strips of leather, one with a join, thin lengths of clay for the stitching, for the rope, roll out two lengths, texture with a needle tool and twist them around each other. Moving on to the top rim of the glass, coming up with a design that I like, texture the band, press out some squares, cut diagonally to create triangles, place them around the rim, ball tool in the center, dotting tool around the edge, a line at the base. Twisting two lengths together, diagonal cuts for the join, Adding that to the top, decided I didn't like it, but now looking at it, I wish I had kept it. Next set of finger bones. Everything was starting to come away from the glass and it all went downhill from here. Wrapped some fabric around the glass to keep it all sturdy. This is a visual representation of how I was feeling. Added the rings on the fingers, then attached the finger bones to the top band of the glass. The glass flipped face down in the oven, melted, squished and burnt everything. I was devastated and weeks of work ruined. I knew if I didn't get straight back into sculpting and fixing that I would never come back to this project. Repaired the rings, tore off most of the leather, repaired the rope and rebaked with a weight in the glass. Moving on to the base of the glass, cutting out sections for the arm bones, lay that into position using the same design as the rim around the edge of the base. Time to paint. Black acrylic paint base coat, metallic silver on top of that, refuel, brown base coat on the triangles, metallic bronze on top of that, PVA glue to attach the gems, added some red gems to the eyes of the skull while I had everything out, brown base coat on the leather, lightening up the bones with an ivory colored paint, watered down brown paint to add grime to all the brown surfaces, a thin layer of yellow over all the bones, widely blend in some orange around all the bone creases, go in with a light brown deeper into the joins, then a darker brown in the deepest areas. Finish the painting with the rope. For inside the goblet, I am using a yellow orange tulle, a row of warm white LEDs, Cut the tool into lengths, wrap and scrunch that over the LEDs, then place that into the glass. I wanted this sculpt to be meaningful, so I added elements like the Scorpio constellation with Antares as a gem, added a few other Scorpio elements, I added some citrine and topaz type colours throughout to match his birthstone, I recreated his puzzle ring from his 18th, I went for a medieval gothic style for the actual goblet and added plenty of pirate elements.